Congratulations. Going to ask you about one of a strange scenario there, obviously, to come back 24 hours later. First off, welcome home. How does it feel to be back here, back in front of this crowd, back on this arena in Australia? Um, yeah, that was, uh, that was some match. I don't think I've uh, experienced anything quite like that. But first of all, thanks to all you guys for hanging around. You came. There could have been five points here. But last night I came off and on and on again. And you guys were there supporting and cheering just as loud every time I walk on the course. So I really appreciate it. You know, Fonini, he can be so tricky, right? But for you to come through those first two sets, especially play your best tennis, what do you take it out of that match to feel like you're confident going into the next one? You served so well. It looks like the movement is good. You had those first couple of weeks in Adelaide. What are you happiest with? Yeah, Adelaide gave me a lot of confidence. Uh, I've been playing great the last two weeks. I feel like my tennis is at a good level. I came here with a little bit of time to prepare, unlike last time. And uh, yeah, I feel good. I'm ready to give tomorrow a crack. Fabio's a hell of a player. Obviously, been top 10, but I tried to stay focused, stay sharp, and uh, yeah, played the big points well. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty hungry for tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Okay, you mentioned tomorrow. I don't know how many of these folks in the arena know. Tomorrow, you'll play Andy Murray in the second round. Now, Murray. He spent, he spent about three more hours on court. Now, he finished yesterday, obviously. Listen, you've known Andy for a long time. You guys played in a Davis Cup match years ago. How do you approach that match against someone that you've looked up to, but you're hungry to get into your first ever Australian Open third round? Yeah, I'm very hungry. Um, you know, Andy's a hell of a player, has been for many, many years now. He played a great first round. I've known him for a while. He was one of the guys that really took me under his wing when I came out on tour, always sending me messages of uh, encouragement and advice so we know each other pretty well. But um, yeah, I'll put all that aside tomorrow and give it a red hot crack. I don't know what court will be on, but if the atmosphere is anything like what it has been for you guys and me here, uh, yeah, I hope you guys get behind me and get rowdy. So thank you. Last year, obviously, you had such a special run with Nick. It took place a lot on this court, but you know, the disappointing news that he's not able to play in the singles. Have you guys been able to have a chat? And what has that discussion been like? Obviously, unable to defend your doubles title. Yeah, obviously it's disappointing, but Nick's got to do what's best for him. You know, we, uh, we had a magical run last year playing on this court a lot of the time in front of you guys, and that was something we'll never forget. So uh, hopefully we can run it back again next year. But yeah, for him, uh, he's a good mate first and foremost, so health is first, and hopefully he gets back uh, up and running, and we'll see him soon. Lastly, I want to ask you, 10 years ago, you and Nick played in the boys' junior final against each other in singles. You're 10 years removed from that. You travel all over the world. You get to come home once a year. What would you like to prove this year? What would you like to show Australia, show the tennis world where you are with your tennis for Thanasi at this point in your life? I think just the Australian crowd just appreciates someone that gives it their all every time. So uh, I've missed a lot of years with injury. I'm, I'm real grateful to be back and playing some good tennis, healthy, um, fired up in front of you guys. You know, I wouldn't want to play anywhere else. This is the best tournament in the world. I'm going to give it my all, have you guys supporting, and, and we'll see how far I can go. All right, you got to get loud, Australia. The Nasi Kokonakis moving on to the second round.